Good. Uh, next up, we have a very important message from somebody very important. His name is Ron Freeman. Okay. He is a candidate for sheriff of Forsyth County. He has been in <laughs> law enforcement for 29 years, guys. 29 years. Out of his 26, he has been the executive commander of Forsyth County. Recently, uh, he was working as the deputy chief of Brookhaven Police Force, right? Uh, in addition to being a winner of Medal of Valor and Medal of Merit, he interestingly also teaches uh, in local colleges courses about uh, criminal justice and also is pursuing his own PhD, right? He's pursuing his own PhD in uh, public service. Uh, a few other things in his uh, resume of sorts. Uh, he's the president of FBI National Academy, a past president of FBI uh, National Academy, and also serves as, as a board of, uh, serves on the board of directors for FBI Executive Development Association here in, in Atlanta. So we have Ron. Good afternoon, thank you. I'd like to take a couple of minutes when I came here. I, I'm not here to speak about that I'm running for sheriff of Forsyth County. I came to speak to you because I had an opportunity to speak to you about something that's very near and dear to my heart. And it's kind of hard for me to see, but if you will indulge me, how many of you have children in the school system? The vast majority of you. What I want to talk to you about is the dangers that our children are facing in our school system right now, not from our school system, but from the fact that we live in one of the more affluent and one of the better places to live. I would assume most of us are from Gwinnett, Forsyth, Johns Creek, Alpharetta, Milton. Am I close? Most of us from those areas? Would you be surprised to know that right now Forsyth County is tied for the third highest overdose death rate from drug use? We tend to, when we think of drugs and we think of the dangers that they pose to our children, this is why I'm here, this is what, this is my passion, this is what I want to speak to you for a moment about, if you'll indulge me. If you will think for a minute, we tend to think as parents, and I have a 17-year-old and a 21-year-old, so I understand, I have one in high school and one in college. We tend to think, when we think of drug use and dangers to our children, we think of downtown Atlanta. We think of inner city. We think of low income areas, or at least some of us in the parent field think of this. What I'm here to tell you is that unfortunately, because we live in a more affluent area, because we live with places that have great school systems, but also put great pressures on our children to succeed, our children are actually more at risk than those that we find in inner city. If I can do nothing but have you parents understand that the number one way we can protect our children from the dangers of drugs is not to put more police officers somewhere, not to make more arrests, is to be more involved in our children's lives. Parents will start this. I use an analogy and it is as simple as this, if we're going to protect our children, and this is a very important message, we have to build a wall. And that wall takes all of us to put some bricks into that wall. Law enforcement, police officers have bricks to help build that wall. Parents have a lot of bricks to put in that wall. Our communities have bricks to put in that wall. Our school systems have bricks to put in the wall. What happens if someone doesn't put their bricks into that wall? What are you left with? You're left with holes. And that's how we lose our children. I want to encourage you to stay active in your kids' lives. Stay active in who they are hanging around with, who, who they befriend, where their time and effort is spent. We tend, again, think that we are not facing the same dangers that inner city youth may be facing. And I will again tell you, in law enforcement, as a 29-year law enforcement officer, 
We used to believe we needed to get to them in high school. Then we thought maybe seventh or eighth grade. Our research right now tells us that we better be getting to them in third, fourth, and fifth grade. Does that surprise anyone? That we need to get to them that young? If we wait till middle school, we may be too late. So I will ask you and I will encourage you with everything that I have in me because I am tired of seeing us lose children to addiction, to losing kids because they're dying from heroin use. We think no way one of our kids would use heroin. It can't happen. Then tell me why in affluent Forsyth County, the number one growing county in the state of Georgia, one of the highest per capita income counties in the state of Georgia, actually has one of the highest zip code per capita incomes, we have a tie for third most overdose, overdose deaths. It's because we are not paying enough attention to the things that we need to. I don't come to give you a bad message. I didn't come to try to scare you as parents. What I came to do is try to encourage you as parents to take that active role, to get involved, just like we're talking about today, to get involved in your community, get involved in your school systems, get involved with your local law enforcement agencies, get involved with your religious organizations, find a way to get plugged into and get into helping our kids before we lose some. If we lose one more kid, that's too many. I've been to way too many funerals and I have been to way too many rehab facilities and watched children suffering from addiction to drugs. Just again, I'm, I'm gonna encourage you one more time. Please, because we live in a very affluent and what we believe is a very safe community and often it is safe compared from violent crime to other areas we may see, please do not be lulled into a false sense of security that we do not have drug problems in the North Metro affluent areas. They're horrendous, it's here, and it's going to take every one of you, myself, and our entire community to make a difference. I hope that this resonates with you. I hope that you understand this message from the standpoint of saving our kids. I almost get emotional when I talk about this because it means so much to me with kids. I've spent my whole life working with youth, and I know how important your family is to you, but I promise you, as important as your children are to you, another parent's children are just as important to them. We have to work together with this. I thank you for giving me just a few minutes to talk about what I think is a very, very important topic that we have to address. I hope you have a great festival for the rest of the day. And again, thank you for your time and thank you for allowing me. Thank you, Ram. 29 years of public service, guys. Give you a big round of applause. It's people like him that make us feel safe at home, don't they?